Welcome back, everyone, to the Vine Center here at Liberty University. We've got 20 minutes of basketball already in the books, and it's been an exciting game, a game with huge repercussions in the North Division of the Big South Conference. Hi again, everybody. Paul here, Matt, and Coach. And uh, guys, you know, we talked about uh, this game, its importance. We talked about how VMI sort of limped its way in here on a six-game losing streak. But I'll tell you, the way they've turned it on, they know what's at stake, and they've had a great first half. How about that, Matt? Yeah, and the key for me was Rodney Glasgow, the play of the, the point guard, who's been injured for a couple of games. You know, VMI has been down. They haven't had much of a flow the last few games. But he's come in, and he shows the importance of having an experienced point guard. Not only is he scoring points, he's got 13 points. He's made three three-pointers, has three assists. But he's been able to create for other people and really allow them to get shots where they want to get them. He's been a huge impact player here in the first half. Yeah, more on VMI a little bit later. But, Coach, for Liberty, maybe not so much their offense, but really some defensive problems that have made the score what it is. Uh, if you score 34 points, 36 points and a half, you should be in good shape as far as that go. The, the problem that has come so far for Liberty has been the failure to understand and know what uh, VMI is trying to do. They're a perimeter shooting team. They like the three-point shots. They spread the floor. And Akoya and Glasgow, they, they have found the open spot and they have been able to hit. And in their situation, they're nine for 21 from three. And when you shoot nine for 21, you're going to hurt people. Yeah, and I've seen, you know, Liberty just kind of late in their, out of position, late getting to the ball and, and their matchups. Matt, you know, talk a little bit about that as well. Yeah, well, well three of the three pointers for VMI came on out of bounds plays. And sometimes you have a tendency, you know, you might be switching, you might not know exactly what's going on, but you got to focus in, and Liberty, particularly in the second half, is going to have to focus in on those out of bounds plays. Secondly, dribble handoffs. They've been able to dribble handoff on the perimeter. And guys coming left have been able to get all the way to the basket two times to score easy layups. Liberty's got to look to tighten up, particularly those two areas. Yeah. And, and let me let me add, jump to what you're saying in there, Paul. From a defensive standpoint, you've got to know where the basket is, where the ball is, and where the offensive men are. They are losing sight of the offensive flow of the ball game. Yeah. And that's why when the as you were talking about the dribble, dribble penetration, starting way off to the side. And yet, because they do not know where the team is offensively, they're getting caught off guard. Yeah. And one guy that's killing them, uh, talk about offensive flow, is Stan Okoye. You know, Stan was our impact player of the game. And Matt, he's just lighting it up. Well, we said he's the best player in the Big South Conference, and he came out and showed why in the first half. He was on fire from three, knocked down five threes. There you see him take it to the basket. That was his only points other than a free throw that did not come from the three-point line. He stepped up, he knocked him down, he got him going. You know, he's out there competing hard, and he's showing that he's a great player. Yeah, and for Liberty, not a guy that we highlighted as far as at the beginning of the broadcast, but a guy that we can always rely on, John Caleb Sanders. Well, John's a competitor, and you see that in his ability to hit the three-point shot, as he does right there. But he's also very effective in penetrating, going to the basket. He's always moving to the basket. Yeah, Coach, you talked about it. You know, we need to see, uh, you know, Devon needs to get himself going. And, you know, you oh. talked about how important that is for the Liberty program to have him be actively seeking shots. He did not do that in the first three half. Three shots. Three shots in the first half, and right at the last minute, he hit a three-point shot. But, again, a, a shooter has to be able to shoot. He's got to get into the flow of the basketball game. And, and when your primary scorer and your leading scorer only gets three shots. That's one every eight and a half minutes. Yeah. Well, or Coach, I want, I want to say you like to, you like to get the bigs involved. <laughs> and for once, I'm going to say, you know, the first four or six minutes of the game, Liberty came out, and they pounded the ball into the post. You saw uh, Smith made a nice cut to the basket and a score. You saw yeah. J.R. Coronado get some, get some buckets around the rim. That's going to open things up for shooters. And so I want to play a little bit of inside out coming in the second absolutely, half. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, let's talk a little bit of second half recommendations. Now, VMI seems to just need to keep playing their style. They like to spread it out. They they like to get it up and down when they can. Maybe not as much as in the past, but they're, they're in a good flow. Yeah, and I want to say one thing for the younger viewers out there about Stan Okoye. I read something about him. He did not shoot a three-point shot in high school basketball. And so, you know, you've got to always be looking to develop parts of your game. A guy who didn't shoot the ball from the outside in high school has become an incredible three-point shooter and incredible scorer in college. You've got to continue 
to work on your skills. And every day you've got to work on something new to improve yourself. Now, yeah, second half, you know, Glasgow and, and Okoye, they're going to come out and continue to. Now, is Covington going to give them a lift in the second half? I think he only scored two points in that first half. He was not much of a factor. If those three guys are all going, it's going to be tough for Liberty to come back. Coach, what's Liberty need to do? Take I think the they floor. have to control tempo. I think that for them is the, the tempo of the ball game has to be in their favor, in their hand. And, and for them is to be able to make the, the, the action flow in, 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 the, uh, in the flow of what they like to do. They like to run, they like to shoot the three, but like what you were saying, Matt, A little bit they've, inside uh, out. they've got to go inside, inside out. out, inside all right. out. That's all we have time for when you get back. Mike and Tim will have first half highlights and stats, and we'll have a second half coming up that should be a great one. Stay with us. Lorena Garcia told Taco Bell, to make a great steak burrito, you gotta have great steak. No, 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 almost. But finally, that's it. We nailed it. Taco Bell's delicious new Cantina Steak Burrito. It's got amazing steak and Chef Lorena Garcia's approval. Join us at Liberty University for College for a Weekend to experience Christian college life firsthand. College for a Weekend has so much to offer in four event-packed days. Stay with Liberty students in the residence halls, attend class, and meet the professors. You can also learn about the admission process and how to best take advantage of scholarships and financial aid. Come to Liberty's campus in Central Virginia and explore all the amazing things we have to offer. Exciting sporting events, inspiring theater performances, and a concert featuring national nationally recognized Christian music artists. Liberty is the world's largest Christian university, training champions to impact the world for Christ. Apply during college for a weekend and we'll waive the application fee and tell you how you can receive thousands of dollars in scholarships. Register for college for a weekend now for $50 and you can bring a friend for half price. Don't miss out on the most exciting weekend of your life at Liberty's College for a Weekend. Are you ready to go? Halftime here at the Vine Center. Mike Tilly and Tim Scarborough back with you on the Flame Sports Television Network. Let's take a look at some highlights from the first half. Stan Okoye was, was the man. It was a Stan Okoye show. 18 points in the first half. He knocked down five threes, all looking just like that one. And then a couple of lefty guards for VMI. Brown knocked down one, and then Glasgow with 13 points for Liberty. Drew Smith got off with the first bucket of, of the night with a nice cut. And then he found, found Juan Coronado, and JR does the rest with that finish. And then a long bomb from downtown by Devon Marshall. But Liberty needs a lot more productivity from him. They got production out of two of their three scores. But Marshall, we saw his only basket right there. And there you see, Mike, the shooting percentage for VMI. Just a lot of flow to their offense. 45 per, first half points. Obviously on pace for 90. Liberty has to control the tempo in the second half. Nine three-pointers knocked down by VMI. They, they knocked down nine per game. But Liberty's getting themselves to the free throw line, as you see. And in the turnovers, both teams have been very crisp on offense. But this game is going to be won by Liberty if they take care of the basketball, continue to do that. But they have to slow down Okoye. He is on fire. And really, Glasgow, too, two of their three really hitting on all cylinders. Tavares Speaks playing his last game here at the Vine Center. He had 10 points in the first half, but Liberty was led in scoring by John Caleb Sanders with 12. Liberty will have the first possession of the second half, trailing by nine. And Smith is out there along with Coronado, Marshall, Sanders, and Speaks. Sanders normally makes something happen when the Flames are struggling. This time Speaks will take it to the basket and score his 12th point. Liberty ran the dribble handoff series that VMI has been running most of the night to perfection. Okoye goes in, dunks it. He was untouched all the way. Unbelievable. You can come out of the locker room giving up 18 to a guy, and then he gets a dunk on the first touch. A no-no by Liberty. Okoye had five threes in the first half, a career high for him. And we have a whole second half to play. Coronado inside oh, man. scores his third basket of the game. Smooth, under control, no panic. And J.R. Coronado knocks it down. A nice job. 
developing that touch around the bucket. VMI averages nine three-pointers a game as Glasgow puts this one in off the glass. 15 for Glasgow, and VMI with nine three-pointers per game is actually number five in the country, averaging nine a game, and they had nine in the first half. Nine in the first half, and you know they're going to come out firing in the second half. Liberty will have to get out there, but it's really been a Koye. He knocked down five of them. Sanders going baseline, hits the court, but it bounces to Speaks. The Flames still have it. Four bounce pass. Marshall, <laughs> and Marshall is fouled quickly by Glasgow. Glasgow picking up his second personal foul in this game. Take a look. Out of the locker room, you can't let number 11 for VMI get anywhere near the basket in the rim. And he does just that. I mean, just the easiest bucket of the night for the guy that's most explosive. Liberty can't afford to continue to let him run free like that. He averages 21 points a game. He has 20 right now. Number one in the conference in scoring per game. Number one in the conference in rebounds per game. He averages about nine rebounds a contest. Flames get it in the speaks. Smith goes to the basket. And if anybody is athletic enough and explosive enough to stay with Covington, it's Smith. And you saw him explode right there to the rim. Covington with the basketball, shoots over Coronado. It was no good. Smith had a hand on it, lost it out of bounds. It'll be the Kedets basketball. Smith is 6-9. And Smith gets in the lane, and you see him just elevate and finish nicely at the rim, his second bucket of the night. Not only 6'9", but he has really long arms, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He, and, and, and bungees for legs. So, you know, he's a guy that can certainly finish at the rim. We'll see if Liberty tries to get him the ball more often here in the second half. Going baseline, and now inside, off the glass, Okoye scores again, and he's going to the free throw line. Okoye's just locked in, Mike. I mean, everything <laughs> he's doing right now, the ball is finding its way in the net. This is a tough shot. The defense comes over. Smith is right there, tried to bother the shot, but no match for Okoye right now. First foul on Smith in the game. But Okoye is going to the free throw line again. He was one of two at the free throw line in the first half. You know, he's been named player of the week in the Big South Conference four times this season. Yeah, he's I think that's a record, too. That's, or it ties a record. And if he's playing like this this week, he could break that record. I believe the other player is from Longwood. Uh, I'm trying to for, recall. For this year, was yeah. It, uh, who who uh, was that that... Uh, Ugh, throwing a blank right now. Was it Carey? T.T. Carey, I believe. But, you know, some of those other names that were on that list of doing it four times in a season was uh, Tony Duncan, a guy who won Player of the Year four times for Coastal years ago, back when I was playing. So Koye with 23 points now in this game. The Tets get set on defense as the Flames are going to inbound it. Sanders... Liberty trailing by 10, Speaks, guarded by Glasgow. Smith to Coronado has trouble with it, trying to get it to Sanders, Marshall able to save it. It's like a feeding frenzy when that ball is loose, boy, VMI is looking to grab it. Sanders, Smith, Smith, Gore tied him up, Coronado has it blocked by Covington. And how quick does DJ Covington jump? I mean, he gets off the ground as quick as anybody in the Big South. Take a look. Covington recovers, and before Juan Coronado can drop it in, Covington is there to erase it. Covington is 6'9 as well. He leads uh, the Big South Conference in blocks. He has over 80 this season, and Sanders hits a three-pointer. Cave is just continuing to play dynamite at the offensive end for Liberty. 15 for Sanders, Liberty back to within seven. Covington going against Coronado. Covington can't score, tipped out, he gets the rebound. Loose on awesome. the floor, Sanders picks it up. Sanders to Speaks. Coronado was open, can't hit, rebound taken by Gore. Gore pushing it down. Brown, three point shot is short, gets his own rebound. That's Covington. 
Gore inside. Brown open for three. It's good. Five so, points for Brian Brown. So smooth right now. The offensive flow. No one forcing it for VMI. And they're just taking good, solid open shots. And they're getting it to fall tonight. Vaughn Marshall, Sanders. Sanders in the lane. It's blocked away again. Smith, though, recovers and dunks it. <laughs> Six points for the sophomore forward. At the other end, Gore finds <laughs> Covington for his own Take dunk. That. And Smith puts Covington in the rim, and Covington puts him back. These two guys going at it, attacking the rim. They're both 6'9". Marshall with the basketball, still a VMI 10-point lead. Man, it would be nice to be six foot nine, huh? Speaks, pulls up, takes the two. And the Flames have called a quick timeout here. And really, the pace continues to favor VMI. For Liberty to play open court, but they need to get some stops. Speaks with 14 points. It was 10 at the half. Liberty's cut it to eight. We'll be back in a minute. 70% off carpet, hardwood, and laminate. Easy and affordable. We work for you, Sarah. 70% yeah. off this and this one. Luna works to get you more. Your product costs are 70% off. Luna! <laughs> You're hired. Hey, can you do 70% off the noise? Uh. Call Luna now for 70% off. 877 241 Luna. When is a bargain not a bargain? When you pay a whole lot more and get a whole lot less. Take Dish's introductory price. After just three months, it triples. And in 12 months, the same TV package costs four times more. That's clearly not a bargain. And not only will you pay four times more, but you still won't get any of these top-rated channels. So don't be fooled by Dish. The best channels for the best price. Another reason 30 million people agree. Don't just watch TV, direct TV. Get NBA League Pass right now from DirecTV and don't miss a minute of live NBA action. NBA League Pass delivers games on TV, online, and mobile. That's right. Buy NBA League Pass and you get the games on all platforms. Watch live action wherever you are and see the big NBA stars shine in big games throughout the season. Get NBA League Pass now for this limited time offer of only $24.99 per month for four months. To order, call 1-800-GET-SPORTS or go to directtv.com slash NBA. Liberty's only senior, Tavares Speaks, able to cut the deficit to eight right here. He's six of nine from the field, most of them coming from the perimeter. He's done a great job of knocking down that pull-up jump shot all night. Liberty will need more offensive productivity from everyone because right now, VMI scoring at a high pace, and this is exactly what Digger Balcom's team, the type of pace they like. When the Kedats have a better field goal shooting percentage than their opponents this year, they are 11 and 0. When they're not, they're 0 and 16. And of course, field goal percentage, you know, sort of, well, yes, of course, you're going to score more points, but there are other factors, free throws, sure. et cetera. And turnovers, how many possessions you get, yep, and how many of those are threes versus twos. Right now, they're shooting about 49% from the field. Liberty is shooting 46% from the field. Brown. Gives it to Okoye. Okoye wants to go to the basket. Vanderpol stepped in and cut him off. Good help side defense that time. You have to play him as a team. Five seconds on the shot clock. Glasgow fires it off. No good. Rebound taken by Alglade. Alglade with a hustle play right there, giving VMI a second opportunity. Wow. <laughs> Stan Okoye with another three-pointer. He is deadly from downtown. I don't think he thinks he's as good of a shooter as he is tonight. 26 points. Vanderpol getting bumped, double team, gets it over to Roberts. Roberts makes the move, can't score. Loose on the floor, they're all on the floor, and Okoye comes away with it. The energy level picking up a little bit for both teams. VMI with 11 offensive rebounds in this game. Yeah, and that, and that can't happen. I mean, that's a lot of second chances for a team that's shooting a high percentage as it is. VMI is the number two offensive rebounding team in the conference this year, but they're dead last in the conference in defensive 
rebounding. Right now they've got an 11 point lead over the Liberty Flames with 1409 to play in the game. 70% off carpet, hardwood, and laminate. Easy and affordable. We work for you, Sarah. 70% yeah. off this and this one. Luna works to get you more. Your product costs are 70% off. Luna! <laughs> You're hired. Hey, can you do 70% off the noise? Uh. Call Luna now for 70% off. 877 Because blue hens live in red lion. Yellow jackets call green belt home. And orange bleeds orange. Because Germantown roots Irish. Old Town cheers Youngstown. And Terrapins and Cavaliers, friends in friendship. Your alma mater may be miles away, but your college team is this close. College Town. Baylor takes the floor against West Virginia. Tomorrow night at 8 on Messon 2 and 2HD. Won't get caught, except on your mobile phone. Runner goes, thrown down by Martin, and a stolen base. They touch them all. You see them all. On his way back, everybody up. Goodbye, home run. Never miss a defining moment. Text Orioles to 29292. With mass and alerts, you can't miss. VMI's guard Rodney Glasgow had missed three games with an injury. He did start tonight. He's got 15 points. You know, Duggar Bauckham is glad to have number one back in uniform as you see him there. The touch, the feel of cotton from the perimeter. 15 points, and he and Okoye really carrying the scoring low. Okoye with 26, Rodney Glasgow with 15. No one else even close to that. Brown has line. five. I think Covington has yeah. been held to five. Marshall with five. Inbound taken by Glasgow. You'd like to have three scorers in a given game, but when two of them are scoring like that, you don't need a third one. <laughs> Okoye with the basketball, the leading scorer for the Keydats here tonight. Glasgow will take it from him. VMI up by 11 with 13.50 to go in the game. Both Lee. these teams will be in action on Saturday in conference play, but this is so important in that North Division. Brown's three is in and out. Tipped up, battling for it, taken by Okoye. Wow, 12 offensive rebounds. Brown. And they make him pay. Eight points for Brian Brown. The other lefty three-point shooter in the backcourt, Brian Brown knocks one down, and now VMI with a 14-point lead. That point zone didn't work that time for Liberty. VMI beat Liberty by 13 points in early January in Lexington. Koye had 20 points in that game. Coronado fouled as he was getting set to shoot. Joe Carr hammers Coronado, so we have a chance for two. But take a look at the second opportunity that VMI makes Liberty pay with a knockdown from downtown by Brian Brown. Brown, a 39% three-point shooter. He's actually the fourth best three-point shooter in the conference. Averages nine a game. He's got eight points here in this one as Coronado makes his first free throw on his first attempt of the night. He's got seven points. You know, he had 18 rebounds in that uh, Austin P overtime win on Saturday, and that was a new Vine Center record for a Liberty player. Liberty player yeah. uh, 18 rebounds. Second free throw is no good. It's Okoye. Takes the rebound there. Gore with the basketball. Glasgow pulls up for three. 16-point VMI lead. And every time Rodney Glasgow looks to squeeze the trigger, it looks good when it leaves his hand. Sanders crashed it inside, blocked away. The Kedets run with it. Brown scores. Wow, this one is getting out of hand. And Coach Dale Lair wants to stop the blood. He'd give him a tourniquet right now. Ten points for Brian Brown and Dale Lair calling that timeout as the key deaths have exploded from a ten-point halftime lead to 18. And Glasgow continues to knock down the three. Now four of eight from downtown. Six of 11 from the field. 18 points. And Brian Brown knocked down one in that stretch too. And he's knocked down a couple tonight. He's got ten for VMI. 
And look at that shooting percentage, 13 of 28 three-point field goals for VMI. And if they continue to shoot like that, it's not much Liberty can do. If Liberty is going to come from behind, they're going to have to go to this guy, Tavares Speaks, the only senior. And Tavares Speaks is a guy capable and explosive enough to shoot Liberty back in this, but he'll need some help from Devon Marshall and John Caleb Sanders. But more importantly, Mike, right now, they just need some stops. I mean, 68 points. We still have 13 minutes to play here in the second half. Kedet's averaging 77 points per game on the season. The Highest scoring teams, uh, team in the Big South Conference this year at 77 points per game. Yeah, not the same VMI team that was averaging 90 plus in that five year stretch when they had guys like you know, Reggie Williams, who's down the NBA, Keith Gabriel, the Twins, Ch Chavis and Travis Holmes. Foul whistled, I think, on. Uh, yeah, Anglade. Well, yeah, I think it might have been. Yep, it was. Number yep. 32, Philip Anglade, the freshman forward out of Long Island, New York. That's the second foul on him. Covington's back in the lineup for the Kedets. He's going to have a seat. Flames inbounding. Marshall. Donnelly's in the lineup. Chad Donnelly. Smith's back in there. Vanderpoel. 18-point lead. One of the bigger deficits we've seen Liberty have to try to climb out of in the Vine Center, but still enough time and enough possessions in this game to do so. Gore took it away from Vanderpoel. Glasgow's three is no good. Okoye with the rebound. Another offensive rebound for VMI. Okoye in the lane, puts it up, and of course oh, it goes in. My goodness. <laughs> Everything he throws up now, 10 of 13 from the field having a superstar night. Marshall scores a bucket, five for Devon Marshall in the game. And so Liberty now will be in the quick hitter attack mode, and we saw that against Longwood. That's where Devon Marshall really, really thrives. Blasco, Okoye. Okoye going this against match. Marshall. Short, Vanderpoel with the rebound. Maybe, maybe Marshall needs to guard him. <laughs> There's Marshall's three, no good. Vanderpoel coming hard to the basket, but Covington pulled down the rebound. Brown's three-pointer, no good. Coye with the rebound, he's fouled by Vanderpoel. Oh my goodness, this is getting out of hand with the second chance opportunities. Timeout on the floor in Lynchburg, Virginia. Big South Conference basketball, and right now the visiting Keatettes lead the Flames. Be free to be you. The freedom to drive what you want to drive, wear what you want to wear, and bank where you want to bank. At Carter Bank & Trust, you'll find the freedom to bank the way you like. Personal service with a smile, face-to-face -face from people that know you. And with services like our no-fee debit card, lifetime free checking, and over 100 convenient locations, you're free to bank your way. Carter Bank & Trust, the freedom to be you. My name's David Benham. I'm Jason Benham, graduated in 98. I went on to play with the Red Sox and the Cardinals, and he was in the Baltimore Orioles organization. We come back to homecoming. It just blows us away what's happened with the facilities, and we still feel that there's a very strong spiritual climate here that uh, honors the Lord. And certainly now that we're alumni and we're engaged in culture in the marketplace, and we see marketplace leaders, we see governmental leaders, we see educational leaders, all from Liberty University. So it's pretty awesome. And we're happy to invest our money back into that as our company grows as well. We run our businesses with the motto that if the speed on the outside is greater than the speed on the inside, the end is soon near. And so if you're not moving forward, you've got no choice but to move backward. And so every single time we come here, th this university has modeled that perfectly. And so it's just awesome to be able to come to a place and we know that we're sewing back into a place that is actually moving forward and allowing people to move forward with it. VMI leads Liberty by 18. Let's take a look at the Carter Bank and Trust game in a glance. Liberty shooting percentage slightly higher, but the 13 of 30 from downtown by VMI is proven to be the difference. And then a stat that really is surprising rebound 33 to 21, 14 second chances for VMI. They've converted to 20 points. 
And it seems like Liberty's strategy is try to win it inside because of the height advantage or whatever, but VMI, I mean, 33-point shots. Yeah, and, and that's that's a little even many a lot for them. But they're certainly, you know, knocking down nine per game. They certainly take a lot of threes. And tonight, they're making a lot of threes, and it's really giving Liberty a lot of trouble. 30 points. That's the uh, fifth, excuse me, the sixth time this season that uh, Stan